Hey guys, my name is Victor and welcome to another episode of Soccer Fan Perspective. This is the first episode of 2015 and I already have to play catch up. Now this is a new segment I would like to call MLS Update. I will have two to three topics to talk about every weekend, so let us begin. The LA Galaxy wasted no time in finding a player to take up their last designated player slot as Liverpool legend Steven Gerrard signed with the club and will join them after the end of the BPL season. Now, I'm personally not a big fan of this move. Sure, Gerard is a quality player, but for those of you watching the BPL this season, you can tell that there's been a decline in his form. That being said, though, who knows? Maybe a change of scenery will do him good in rejuvenating his career, but it still will be a little weird seeing him play in another jersey that is not Liverpool. A player who is continuing his good form is Frank Lampard. Now, the English player has been a crucial piece for the citizens this season, so much so that his loan has been extended till the end of the summer, something that the New York City fans are not too happy about. And why would they be? They expected Lampard to be here from the get-go, but I'll be honest, this situation does not surprise me one bit. These things tend to happen when established clubs like Manchester City, or in another case, Chivas de Guadalajara, invest in other satellite clubs. Now, people may say New York City FC is different than Chivas USA, and in many respects it is, but just like this particular moment, I should say, the GOATs did use their satellite club to benefit the mother club, and this is exactly what Manchester City is doing at the moment. Speaking about decisions benefiting the club, New York Red Bull's new sporting director, Ali Curtis, fired head coach Mike Petke and replaced him with Jesse Marsh. Now, comparing the two coaches, I feel that Marsh is a better coach tactically. I felt that he wasn't given enough time in Montreal to show the quality that he has, and I'm glad that he's getting another opportunity to do so. That being said, I don't think that there could have been a more better fit for New York than Mike Petke. The guy not only has ties to the club, but to the city itself, and I hope they do keep him in some form of capacity, or capacity, I should say, in the organization. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Now, I know there were many other topics that I didn't get a chance to cover in this, but feel free to leave it in the comments section down below, and we'll have a discussion about it. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Also, keep an eye out for another video I'll be posting today focusing on the U.S. men's national team. I'll be talking about the U-20 roster and the championship that's being played at the moment, and also the January camp and the roster that Jurgen Klinsmann selected. So until next time, guys, see you all later.